I feel like I want to take the Harmony Tarot on a picnic. <laughs> it just makes me want to go outside somewhere and take it along with me. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel or if you're just meeting me for the first time. Hi, my name is Ebony and this channel is here to help you reconnect to your intuition so you can manifest in the real world. If you're interested in things like self-development, mindset and spirituality, I hope you enjoy today's video and consider subscribing if you haven't already. A couple of weeks ago, I shared a glimpse into this deck by Harmony Nice, the Harmony Tarot, in a video all about pip decks because this is a pip deck. So if you're wondering what that means, and you'd like to know for sure that this is the deck that you would like to buy for yourself, definitely check out that video next. I'll have it linked in the cards above and in the description below as well, if you'd like to check it out. I've since been asked to do an actual review of this beautiful deck by Harmony Nice, and I definitely believe it deserves a closer look. So today I wanna to give you a full flick through of this deck and share my experience with it so far and whether I recommend it. Please note that this is not a sponsored video. I'm not affiliated with Harmony Nice and I brought this deck with my own money. If you'd like to support this channel, please do consider liking, subscribing, commenting down below and sharing my videos with anyone you think would enjoy them too. All of those things help so much. And of course, thank you so much for watching my videos. It really means so much to me. So thank you for your support for being here. So get yourself a cuppa and let's take a closer look at the Harmony Tarot. Cheers. The Harmony Tarot is centered around the theme of personal growth and healing. Harmony has created her own version of tarot where the cards and guidebook can be used as a tool to improve well-being. There are so many benefits to reading tarot, from divination to decision making. You could say that all tarot decks essentially offer the same experience, or at least similar messages that you need to hear. The difference between one deck of tarot cards to another is that each lends its own unique voice to a reading. In the case of the Harmony Tarot, it has a nurturing, welcoming voice. As I mentioned, I've made a whole video about the fact that this is a pip deck, so I won't go into that too much here today. If you'd like to learn more about pip decks, please do check that video out. While the Harmony Tarot offers a different take on the typical Waitsmith Tarot, it still includes the same amount of 78 cards, with 22 major arcana cards and 56 minor arcana cards. The major arcana cards are almost all renamed and different from the usual Waitsmith Tarot cards, though there are definitely a few crossover similarities and certain cards have been kept such as the Moon, the Sun and the Lovers cards. I would say they're inspired by the Waitsmith Tarot in some ways, while staying within Harmony's set theme. It's also worth noting that the major arcana cards don't have numbers written on them, so I'm sharing them here in the order that they're presented in the guidebook. Minor Arcana cards look truly different as their pip cards. They're still split into four groups, though instead of the usual four suits, cups, swords, pentacles and wands, Harmony has changed it to represent the four seasons, spring, summer, winter and autumn. She does keep the king, queen, page and knight cards. You can still read the Minor Arcana pip cards as representative of the Waitsmith equivalents if you like. The meanings do reflect in a similar way. If you already know what each card usually means, you can draw on that to help you read the Harmony cards too. I'm still getting to know this deck, but I really appreciate it so far. It's been really lovely to work with. It tells me what I need to hear in such a beautiful way.
who is this deck for and do I recommend it to beginners? Because it is a pip deck, I wouldn't suggest it to anyone who wants to learn the more traditional Rider Waite Smith tarot. On today's blog post, you'll find a list of tarot decks I do recommend starting with if you really want to delve into tarot. However, if you consider this a secondary deck or you simply don't mind that it's not based on the Waite Smith tarot, then it truly is such a wonderful tarot deck that you will adore. When it comes to any decks, whether they're Tarot, Oracle, Lenormand, or even Gypsy cards, I believe it comes down to whether you feel drawn to the cards and the illustrations. Do you feel as though you could connect with these cards as we look through them here? Do you get a good vibe from them? Even if you're completely new to Tarot and you would still like to learn the typical Waitsmith Smith version, if you feel drawn to this deck by Harmony Nice, trust that instinct. There's not one right way to learn Tarot, there's simply your way. You can treat this deck as more of an oracle deck too, to be honest. Though it's structured like any regular tarot deck with major and minor arcana cards, because it's so different to the traditional Waitsmith tarot, it, it could almost be considered an oracle deck. If that helps you detach it from any preconceived notions of what a tarot deck should look like, then treat it as its own unique deck as you would approach an oracle deck. I really hope that helps you decide if the Harmony Nice is the right deck for you. I truly do love it and consider it a very welcome addition to my deck collection. When you draw tarot cards every day, it's nice to have a variety of decks to choose from. I'm such a typical Gemini though, so I have to mix things up. Now we've looked through all the cards in the deck, I'll give them a shuffle. They are really nice cards to shuffle and they feel like they will be quite durable and long lasting. They're not overly thick or thin, they're a good sort of medium. Okay, let's draw a card and see what message the Harmony Tarot has for all of us today. Alright, so let's draw a card. Ah, oh, lovely, the Nine of Summer. So I'll just have a look in the guidebook. Here we are. Nine of Summer. Gratitude, fulfillment, happiness. The Nine of Summer is a wonderful place to be. It points towards contentment in a relationship or that happiness is coming soon. Commitment to loved ones and pure intentions should be paying off. It is also time to express gratitude and appreciation for great relationships. Enjoy all of the sensual, emotional and spiritual pleasures that life brings. Treat yourself by creating something to express gratitude for you and your friends, such as homemade gifts. This is a great time to start exploring new passions if you have the emotional space and freedom to do so. Research and try out new hobbies and dedicate yourself to something new. You deserve to give yourself rewards. Ah, oh, how lovely. So you can see that for the meanings in the guidebook, she really gives you practical advice a lot of the time too, that you can really act on, which is really, really lovely. Let's take a look at one of the major arcana cards. Let's just have a look at the fairy ring because it's such a pretty card. The fairy ring, irresponsibility, temptation, habits. The fairy ring can be a circle of repetition and temptation. This represents making the same mistakes or getting in the same muddles over and over again and listening to the more impulsive areas of your brain. If this card comes up in your deck, it might also point towards yourself or someone in your life acting in a naive or immature way. 
If the circle of thoughts and actions is self-destructive, it needs to come to an end and patterns of behavior need to be adjusted. Temptation can sometimes make us feel as though we have no choice in the matter, but it's important to recognize that we have control over our thoughts and especially our actions. In order to understand emotions, undergoing therapy or working on self-awareness are often the best forms of help, especially for anyone struggling to understand why they feel the urge to persist in negative behavior. Making decisions about breaking long-standing habits can lead you to emotional and physical exhaustion. It's important to find quiet time to read, educate yourself in well-being and find a focus to help replace the negative energy. Hobbies, new or old, could be nurtured at this time, as well as journaling, which will enable regular check-ins with your thoughts and feelings. So that one in particular has quite a lot written about it. So there's a bit of variety in terms of how much she goes into each card, but generally speaking, she covers a lot in the guidebook. It's a really quite a nifty guidebook. She goes into how to read tarot, even how to read reverse meanings. So it's a pretty in-depth guidebook considering how little it is. She really packs it with information, which is really always such a good thing, especially in this deck because it has got that theme. And if you want to follow that theme uh, as presented by Harmony, then you kind of need the, the meanings in the guidebook, at least to begin with. As I get to know them, I'll probably read them more intuitively. I try to read intuitively before picking up the guidebook too, but it's all about doing it your way in your own time. So I think with any tarot deck or oracle deck, you really have to trust your own instincts on it and, and learn at your own pace. But she does have really beautiful writing in the guidebook that really helps to explain what she's getting across in terms of well-being and self-development so it's really quite lovely that it has that theme to improve well-being Each card has been thoughtfully designed to encourage you to connect with your thoughts and choices and inspire personal growth and healing. And it really does do that. This deck really, the theme is absolutely beautiful. So final impression for now, <laughs> after a few weeks of using the deck, I really do love it. I'm enjoying getting to know it and I'm enjoying the nurturing voice that it has and the fact that it is very therapeutic and it has such a good good feeling to it and it's really helpful as well like she gives you a lot of helpful advice along the way that's really beautiful too so I definitely recommend it and I do think that it's a deck for anyone you don't have to have any background in tarot to be able to read it I think at the end of the day you just might need the guidebook a little bit more but if you're just learning tarot anyway, you're going to want to read the guidebook anyway, realistically. So I hope this review has been helpful. Definitely let me know what you think. So now I'd love to know what do you think of the Harmony Tarot? If you'd like to learn more about this gorgeous tarot deck and about tarot in general, please do check out today's blog post. There'll be heaps more resources and recommendations there and I'll have that linked in the description below. Over on my blog you can also sign up for my free weekly charm tarot readings that I do every week. Every Monday you receive a newsletter from me with a reading and I will definitely be sharing more of the Harmony Tarot on those readings as well. So if you're interested in that, it's completely free and easy to do. You just have to sign up over on my website. So that'll be linked below as well if you're curious. You also get freebies, so that's fun. <laughs> as always, please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions. I'd love to hear from you there. And you can also find me on Instagram at Ebony Highland. 
I'd love to see you over there as well. I truly hope you enjoyed today's video and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Be sure to ring the little bell too so you're notified when I post a new video every Thursday. Thank you so much for watching today. It really means the absolute world to me that you're here and I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. I can't wait to see you here again next week. So much love. Bye.